Well, yeah, good morning. It's called Operation Her Story, and it has been such an exciting day out here at Midway. They are just starting, uh, rather just finishing up the boarding process here. They'll be taking off for D.C. momentarily, where they are in for a very special day. We're going to go to the Women in Military Service for America Memorial at Arlington National Cemetery. We'll see the changing of the guard. We'll have some speakers and ceremonies along the way. And then we'll see the war memorials uh, built in tribute to the senior veteran service. That's a tremendous experience. Uh, I guess women veterans are kind of shunned in the past, but now it seems we're coming to the forefront and we're all very happy about it that we're finally being recognized. They certainly are being recognized now. Now, we met so many wonderful women out here this morning. They arrived very early, around 4 this morning. They'll fly to D.C., spend the day there, and come back around 8.30 tonight. The honor flight began back in 2005 and has flown thousands of vets to D.C. over the years since then. This is the 98th flight from Chicago, but again, the first all-female honor flight. We met Betty Horstman, who lives in Morton Grove. Betty is 99 years old. She'll be 100 in December. She spent 18 months in the South Pacific as a physical therapist, and she's still working today. I am ecstatic. I want to see the Women's Memorial very badly. And I didn't even know there was a Vietnam Women's Memorial, so I want to see that too. I'm really looking forward to it. It was worth getting up for. Well, there was one additional World War II vet uh, that will be on this flight. She'll be 105 next month. Once again, just a really exciting morning out here at Midway. A lot more to come, a lot more great stories to tell coming up later on. For now, we're live at Midway. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.